In this video, you will learn how much slope stabilization costs and if it's the right solution to your hillside problem. Living on a hillside can have amazing views, but what happens when you're enjoying those views and you notice your backyard or home is sliding down the hillside? You deserve to have a safe and stable hillside home. Cost is one of the biggest concerns when it comes to stabilizing a hillside, and we're here to help break it down for you. There are several different ways a slope can be repaired, but here at Dollinghouse Construction, we choose to use the best and most cost-effective way to stabilize a slope. A retaining wall with helical tiebacks and piers is usually one of the best ways to stabilize a slope. The cost of our new retaining wall is very broad due to size, but retaining walls normally range from between $300 and $900 per linear foot. For example, if we have a retaining wall that's 50 feet in length at an average depth of about 6 feet, you multiply that length and depth of your retaining wall and multiply it for example $300, your linear footage cost, so it would be about $90,000. You have several factors to consider with a slope stabilization project cost though. First, you have demolition, which is $100 to $330 per square foot. If you want to do helical tiebacks and piers, you have a coring, which is another $300 to $500 per location of pier. Helical piers and tiebacks are placed every 10 feet, with helical piers costing $2,100 to $3,000 and tiebacks costing $2,200 to $3,000. The project size and if you want helical piers and tiebacks will definitely change the prices of a project. So if your project is 10 feet in length, your project will be considerably cheaper than a project that is 50 feet in length due to material usage and project time. If you want to figure out the estimated cost of your project yourself, you're going to measure the length of the area affected and multiply it by the depth that you would like. Then you choose a price between the $300 and $900 for product costs and if you wanted helicals, you had the cost for each helical pier every 10 feet. So, if you'd like to get a free inspection and get some accurate figures, please click the Get Started button at the top right hand corner of our website. So, now that you know what can change the cost and how to figure out a rough estimated price for what you want, just remember, never settle for what's best for you and for your foundation. 